Hello, slaves to darkness. My wife and I are completing this battle between the untamed beasts and the uh, iron golem. And I'm playing the untamed beasts. So I've got one beast with some damage. And my wife is playing the iron golem. And she's got two golem that are damaged. So if you stick on, if you uh, stay on till the end of the video, um, I will explain the overarching story for Age of Sigmar. Um, if you want to stay here. Um, so, uh, Basically, she's got two Iron Golem there against two Untamed Beasts and two Iron Golem there against three Untamed Beasts. So the war band was a little bigger um, to start with for the Untamed Beasts um, for point balance, and uh, it has remained where in three rounds, um, we each lost one miniature. Um, so we're continuing the battle and I'll make another video with how it resolves. But the overarching story to Age of Sigmar is basically there is Sigmar, the force of good in Age of Sigmar or as uh, as good as anybody gets in Warhammer, right? Uh, nobody's really good. Um, and then there's four chaos gods, which are definitely not good. And there used to be relative peace and happiness in the mortal realms until um, the chaos gods started whispering to the mortals, offering them power and the mortals feel like Sigmar uh, abandoned them, but um, that's not really true. The chaos gods got smarter, and because there was four of them against one Sigmar, even though they couldn't compete against him individually, they would um, tie him up in a certain realm, busy with something while they would make an advance in chaos in other realms. So... Um, and of course, the mortals feel like Sigmar abandoned them. Um, and that was the Age of Chaos. And then Sigmar has created the Stormcast Eternals, his force, um, to try to take back over um, all of the realms. There's eight realms connected by a eight points uh, by portals. And these battles that we're enacting right now are taking place in the eight points because the Stormcast Eternals are trying to get from the, uh, are trying to get to the realm of death through the uh, eight points. So they're having to battle their way through the eight points to get to the realm of death, to get a great artifact of power to bring back in their battle against the forces of destruction, the orcs. So that's the overall story. I'll make another video um, when my wife and I have resolved this battle. Thank you, slaves to darkness.